Hello people. So let's talk about the gravitational waves where two black holes supposedly merge together. Let's watch an animation about it. Where they gain speed and will eventually merge according to this science today. But they only bring us animations about it basically and I don't think that's the best evidence of it so this is what they say that is happening out there to black holes merge due to gravitational waves okay so let's see what happens in magnetism when you know that there are the magnets have two poles. Let's see what happens when we try to join the same pole together of two different magnets. Let's see what happens. Let's listen. The mathematical proofs are in Oleg Defimchenko's work. The reason for everything is not the horse shit, but the horse, i.e. fields, something that science has never defined, never explained, because they cannot, they never will define a field, because it has nothing to do with particles. And everything in quantum physics and general relativity is nothing more than rehashed modern Greek atomism. It's got little mystical pixie dust discharge particles, nonsense reification. There's no such things as muons, gluons, mesons, virtual photons. This is all BS and nonsense. Now I want to show you something really interesting. I promise to show you something you've never seen before. Now this, these are the two magnets in voidance, or what you conventionally and correctly call attraction. Now let's put them into counter voidance. And I'll tell you what you're looking for ahead of time. It's hard to do it, of course, since magnets don't want to come together in counter voidance. But you will see in the middle this exact same pattern, the same as on a pole. And I'll let you try to figure it out, and I may or may not give you the answer after I show it to you if I'm able to, because it's really hard, obviously, to get magnets together like this, especially when I'm trying to, I've only got two hands, I'm trying to do a thousand things at once here, but let's see if we can do it. I'm trying to juggle the lighting system and everything else at the same time, and trying to get two magnets together in a counter avoidance up against the lens with my head crooked. Now look for what happens in between these. Can you see that black void? Now look as I get them really close, what you'll see form between these two, this is what you call repulsion, but that's an incorrect definition. But what you will see, and this is the first time you've ever seen it, ever, is it will slowly form. Now, if I'm able to get them closer, you'll be able to see it better. I can already see it here, but sometimes it's a little hard to see. It's also very hard to get them together like this. As you will see, the exact same formation in the middle here as you will on either pole of any magnet. Let me see. So, this is interesting. As we've seen here, the both poles, the same polarity, when they get together, they create one single pole, basically. We saw that single pole. So, gravitational waves, or magnetic fields and dielectric fields. Hmm? Because this is visual, it's empirical, it's repeatable. The gravitational waves are animations. If I get a little bit better image of that Let's by repositioning see myself. This isn't the easiest thing to do, obviously. It's actually rather hard to do. And I also have to wait for the formation to form because the ferrofluid does not work immediately. The ferro suspension. Uh, I almost had it there. Let's get it again. I want to show you this because you've never seen it before. And you see it here, the black voidance, and these are the two poles here, the same pole, the polarity, as they come together they create a single 
one. Just like they say what that happens in gravitational waves. So as I'm thinking, they are really working on magnetism and dielectric fields, which fields are not well studied in physics. And that's the major problem of it. As it said, quantum physics is a lot of mumbo jumbo. So I think this basically Can you see it there? This basically debunks the gravitational waves or scrap manure. It's all about magnetism. You'll see the same hypertrochoid pattern forming right in between these two magnets. Although it's a little fuzzy. Yeah, it's very visible here. So, how come two poles, the same polarity as they come together, create one singularity only? Gravitational waves, you are debunked. Thanks for watching guys and keep on researching and asking questions. See you later.